YouTube. Alan again with Off Grid Technology, bringing you another solar panel review. Uh, we just took a look a couple days ago at the 60 watt travel solar panel or foldable solar panel from New Power. If you haven't uh, seen that, I will leave a link up here for you. Today I wanted to take a look at another one that they offer, uh, which is a 40 watt solar charger. Uh, so another travel, you know, foldable solar panel you can see here with the size of my hand. It's fairly compact. Uh, it's rated for 40 watts at 12 volts. Um, it's lightweight, foldable, comes in like this briefcase style carrying design. Uh, it's got the same pre-attached zipper bag we'll take a look at. And this solar panel is actually compatible with New Power's 300 watt lithium pro portable solar generator. Uh, we don't have one of those unfortunately here to test right now, but I do hope to get one of those in the future. Uh, but this is fully compatible with that unit and allows you to have a full on-the-go solution. Uh, this comes with quite a few cables like we saw in the other one. A few moments later. So to start off with this review, I wanted to give you a look at what kind of connectivity uh, or attachments that this solar panel comes with. Uh, it comes with quite a bit. Um, we saw with the 60 watt uh, new power panel, uh, there's a, a lot of different tips that you can use and a lot of different uh, connections that you can use to make sure you can use it with your jackeries, with your homemade batteries, uh, everything that, that you can charge. Uh, that's a 12 volt system um, or 18 volt nominal as, as it's called in the industry. This panel will work for. So I'm gonna unzip the little travel zipper that it comes with. Uh, this is a little pouch that's stuck to the panel on the back. Starting off, First thing we pull out, we have a pair of alligator clips that will connect to your 12 volt batteries. You will notice this one's a little bit different than the 60 watt version. This one, instead of coming with bare wires, actually comes with an SAE plug. I do like this better. I'm not a big fan of the SAE plug, but I do like that this has some sort of connection on it. So you can use it right out of the box. You're not having to, to put other connections on there. Really good idea. Uh, new power, if you're watching this, XT60 connectors are amazing. Uh, SAE is kind of hard to, doesn't really have much power and it's kind of hard to deal with. So XT60 connectors, new power, but I like that idea. Next we're gonna pull out, you're gonna see that they include a USB-A to USB type C cable. Uh, more on that in a minute. They provide an SAE to 5.5 by 21 or 5521 barrel connector. Uh, this you'll notice for in a minute as well. Next up, we have a, again, 5521 barrel jack or 5.5 to 21 barrel jack. Uh, this is on both ends and it's a fairly decently long cable. Uh, I forgot the, the specs on it, but I will put the specs on all this below. You have your 10 in one connector. This allows you to connect the 5521 cable into other tips, such as this one here is the eight millimeter that can be used with jackeries and echo flows. And you have the ever loving silica gel. Kids, don't eat this. Now with the cables out, I want to just give you a quick look at the connectors that you have here. So you'll notice this little junction box that's sitting inside. It's a little bit different than the uh, 60 watt version that we just reviewed. That one had the cables coming directly out. This one gives you a junction box. You've got two USB ports. The one on the left is 2.4. Uh, so you'll get five volts at 2.4 amps. The one on the center or the right here for the USB that is going to be a USB PD or type C connector. And that one is rated for five volts at 2.4 amps, nine volts at two amps, and 12 volts at one and a half amps. So it does do fast charging um, as long as your device supports it. And then on the right here, we have the 18 volt or 12 volt. This is 18 volt nominal. So when a sun, the sun's hitting the panels, the panel's charging, uh, because you need to bring the voltage above 12 volts, you know, the nominal voltage is higher, such as in the case for lithium iron phosphate is 14.4. So you need something above that to be able to charge your devices. Solar panel puts out 18 volts. 
uh, for a maximum of 40 watts. So, all right, let's go ahead and pause this and I will get the panel opened up for you so you can see what it looks like fully extended. Many, many minutes later. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's, I know it's a short little video, not really too much to these solar panels. Um, I will start getting some charging statistics out of these. I have a 12 volt charger that will show us the max uh, that we get over time and so forth. So I'm gonna start putting reviews out of those over time. Uh, but I wanted to give you a quick look at these. For the price, guys, these are very inexpensive. They work well. I definitely recommend you to check out New Power. Uh, let, let them know that I sent you. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, please give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, these videos are not easy to do, uh, but I enjoy doing them. I love doing them and bringing them to you guys. So please give me a thumbs up. Let your friends know. And if there's any other reviews that you would like to see from Off Grid Technologies, please let me know. Thank you, guys, and have a wonderful afternoon.